Hi everyone, Ahmad Bakhtia here, or my students call me Mr. B. Alright, in this video, I will be sharing with you a bit about a climbing rope. Okay, so if you have ever watched um, old movies in the past, um, those in those days, the climbing ropes that they use are, I would say, the Manila ham ropes, those thick, um, furry, um, you know, rough to hold kind of ropes, uh, which are heavy and doesn't stretch. Okay, so those were the days. So with uh, advancement in advancement in technology, um, we have, we now are using what we call a Kern mantle rope. So I'm just going to show you a bit of the cross section of a Kern mantle rope. So the Kern or the core of the rope is where you will see these white parts here. These are actually small strands of ropes, um, and the mantle or the sheath is the outside portion the one like a skin protecting the rope itself all right so this is a advancement in technology because this rope is super strong um, yeah it can hold well depending on the rope itself but in general they can hold I would say above and beyond 12 uh, kilonewtons um, well that is super strong because if let's say your weight is um, let's say 80 kg 80 kg that will be about um, times 10 that will be 800 newtons all right so if the rope can hold 12 kilo newtons that's 12000 compared to 800 newtons that your body exert then this is super strong okay so again about the parts of this rope um, both the kern and the mantle are very important of course the kern is the one that takes the load off any fall or any load and the mantle is the one that protects the inside the mantle or actually both the kern and the mantle catches fire easily okay so you have to do your best to protect it from direct heat or direct flames okay and apart from that this mantle there are tiny holes in it um, well you need to avoid stepping on the rope so that no gravel or sand or sharp um, dirt enters and cut the curtain inside so you need to take care of the rope that being said well we know that inside can hold 12 kilonewtons so if let's say there are eight strands of them for example that would be you know one strand itself can hold quite a lot of weight okay so in the future whenever you climb do check your rope run your hand around along the rope if you feel any bumps or you feel any part which is um, you know like empty so do not use that rope or if you can cut away that part and discard that part do not ever use all right so there you have it um, this is a modern rope nowadays and it's easy to use it's very friendly to tie but you still must take care of it have a good time out there and stay safe wherever you are bye bye